O children of Adam, we have bestowed upon you clothing to conceal your private parts and as adornment. But the clothing of righteousness, that is best. That is from the signs of Allah that perhaps they will remember. And Allah has made for you from that which he has created shadows and has made for you from the mountains shelters and has made for you garments which protect you from the heat and garments which protect you from your enemy in battle. Thus does he complete his favor upon you that you might submit to him. These are two adversaries who have disputed over their Lord. But those who disbelieved will have cut out for them garments of fire. Poured upon their heads will be scalding water. And tell the believing women to reduce some of their vision and guard their private parts and not display their adornment except that which ordinarily appears thereof and to draw their head covers over their chests and not display their adornment except to their husbands, their fathers, their husbands' fathers, their sons, their husbands' sons, their brothers, their brothers' sons, their sisters' sons, their women, that which their right hands possess, or those male attendants having no physical desire, or children who are not yet aware of the private aspects of women. And let them not stamp their feet to make known what they conceal of their adornment. And turn to Allah in repentance, all of you, O believers, that you might succeed. O Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to bring down over themselves part of their outer garments. That is more suitable that they will be known and not be abused. And ever is Allah forgiving and merciful. If the hypocrites and those in whose hearts is disease and those who spread rumors in al Madina do not cease, we will surely incite you against them. Then they will not remain your neighbors therein except for a little. <laughs> 